I'm Brian Cox. My name is Jim Al Khalili. I'm Robert Winston. And it's the Cheltenham Science Festival. It's a fantastic festival. We try to bring together some of the, the best and brightest scientists. The buzz has built all week and uh, it's, it's, it's turning out to be an extraordinary festival. Something about it that sets us aside a more exciting place to come and hear about science than any, anything else on the science calendar. Of course, for me as the science minister, you want to go to places where the science is happening. At Cheltenham is really the gold standard, I think, for science festivals. This is the science community's Glastonbury, is it not? tent, a Lego tent, you know, the Discover Zone, and so many, almost 200 different events going on. I just found a 737 cockpit, uh, an actual flight simulator, which I crashed. You get sucked into things that you never knew about, never knew were fascinating, and suddenly a whole new vista of discovery and interest opens for you. I don't know of another science festival in the United Kingdom which is, has the variety, the quality and the engagement that this does. To be able to share some of these concepts to 600 people, yeah. well, I mean, just gives me a huge buzz to be up on stage. Do you know what, we're going to find out whether cosmology is philosophy or science, or, or maybe even a myth, so I imagine there'll probably be a punch-up halfway through. Upwards to the vanguard where the pressure is too high I mean, certainly when I was little, I, I, I found science quite intimidating. I was sort of a bit scared of it, but I think that's, I don't know, I think that's changing more and more. You know, festivals like this. The BBC's kind of stated aims is absolutely to kind of inform and educate, and so to be at something like Cheltenham uh, is a chance for us to meet our audience, basically. The unique thing about Cheltenham is the, the community that's grown up around it. So I, I come back now every year, I, I'm always going to come back every year. It's one of the very few opportunities whereby we as scientists get to talk directly to the people who pay our wages. Um, so you can take out that sort of veil of the media. The, the tent behind me is called Talking Point. It's one of my favourite places within the festival. There's a, a time and a, a chance to sort of go over things in more depth. People come here and keep talking with the, with the scientists or with the social scientist or whoever it might be. And the discussions can go on for a, an hour or more. So it helps you to gain a perspective on your own research that is sometimes difficult um, from within your own little bubble. And it might even provoke some new research questions as well. I couldn't have imagined ten years ago that we would have anything of this scale and diversity. Just you know, everyone's grinning for everybody else. Everyone's having a good time. People come away sometimes kind of punch drunk with new knowledge and, and a thirst for even more knowledge. So whatever your interests, you'll find something here that will fascinate you. My one, the thing I would recommend when you come to Cheltenham is book early the events because there are so many events that people want to come to that um, yeah, it's popular for a reason. And things I think in some cases start here in Cheltenham and then move in ever wider circles.